Now we're going to see what happens to these root ports, these designated ports, and the ports that have nothing on top of them. So port one and port two on switch four have neither designated, no, port three and port one on switch four have neither designated or root port on top of them. So they're neither. When switches power up, and as spanning tree is converging, initially all ports are put in blocking. In blocking, no data traffic is being forwarded. Of course, BPDUs are being sent because spanning tree is converging. And this state lasts for 20 seconds. Next, you move over to listening. And during listening, you are sending and receiving BPDUs and your root bridge election is happening, and your root port election is happening. And your listening stage lasts for 15 seconds. This 15 seconds, this 15 second timer is also known as the spanning tree forward delay. Then the port is transitioned to what is called a learning state. The learning state also lasts 15 seconds. And this timer is also called forward delay. So both these timers are called forward delay. In learning, there is no data traffic flowing, but the switch is still populating its MAC address table. What happens when a destination address does not exist in a MAC address table for a switch? And the switch is trying to forward a frame to a, a particular MAC address. The switch floods the frame. So to reduce flooding, once the switches do start forwarding data traffic, you take these 15 seconds to populate the MAC address table as much as possible to reduce flooding once forwarding starts. And after 15 seconds of learning, spent in learning, the switch starts forwarding data traffic. Now, designated ports and root ports are put in forwarding. So this is designated forwarding, 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 forwarding. Now, non-designated ports or alternate ports, in Cisco's vernacular, these are called alternate ports. So port 3, switch 4 is an alternate port and port one, switch four, is an alternate port because these provide an alternate path to the root bridge, or you could call them non-designated, non-root ports. These are put in blocking. So this link is shut down, and I'm kind of running out of space. This link is shut down. So have we at this point stopped the loop? Can I have a loop this way now? No, I can't, because this port is blocking. Can I have a loop this way or this way? No, because this port is blocking. And that concludes the spanning tree decision-making process and spanning tree convergence.